Good morning. This is Jackery Vlogs day number 15. And since yesterday, I've been trying to alleviate my body of this gas. I ate cabbage, a bowl of cabbage for lunch yesterday. And then the day before that, husband cooked. So I ate cabbage that night. Ever since then, it's been downhill. <laughs> so, I got gas. I know it's gas too. It's trapped in my lower abdomen and it moves around to my back. It is the most uncomfortable feeling ever. And because of it, I hate cabbage. Usually I love it, but not during pregnancy. Um, my body is like, no, I can't get with this right now. So, yeah i'm going through it i went on a walk this morning around the neighborhood <clears throat> to try to get things moving help alleviate it and it didn't really work it didn't really work so just keep drinking my water and yeah i'm probably go somewhere and lay in a fetal position because This is not fun. It's not fun at all. All because of cabbage? <laughs> cabbage is the devil. <laughs> Man. <sighs> so I'm just keep drinking water and lay down, relax. Try to relax. We have a four day weekend this weekend. So, you know, I don't have anything planned for today. Today is Friday, so I'm probably just be home most of the day, relaxing or trying to relax till this gas passes. <laughs> yeah, I've I've learned my lesson. Like, and it's crazy because yesterday, before I ate the cabbage. I was having a little bit of um, stomach pain, a little bit, but that was probably from the cabbage from the night before. But it's like after I ate that bowl of cabbage, it just got worse as the day went on. So I'm sitting at work and I'm just like trying to stretch and lean to the side and just sitting in a chair hurting. I'm like, man, this is not what life is about. But I pushed through it, came home and laid down. I've been looking up videos on how to alleviate gas while pregnant and they are, they don't, they didn't really help. Not really. See, like right now, like it comes in waves and I know it's gas because I mean, I felt it before. Like. But since I'm prego, it seems like it's intensified. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, man. <sighs> just trapped air in my belly. It is the worst. <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't think cabbage would mess with my stomach. I haven't ate broccoli. So I eat beans. That'd probably be the most thing that I eat it's supposed to cause gas but it doesn't bother me at all but this cabbage is a different beast different beast my stomach Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. my stomach is like no I should take some of this I like to drink this I haven't I haven't used this in a while I might take a t tablespoon of it wash it down with some of water but I took prune juice last night to kind of help get things moving along. And it did. But the gas is still there. Like. So yes, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. There's the baby in there. And when I look down, I can't even see this anymore. Ra, 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 
sbarrata. I need to get one of these. Look, I filled it up this morning. I'm already at 11 a.m. It's almost 9.30. I'm way ahead of the game. Whew. I'm now in the car. Husband's taking me to the emergency room. Earlier, I was what I thought gassy but now I don't think it's gas I think something else is not right so I called the nurse line told her what was going going the lower abdominal pain let me see what else well now it's frequent urination like probably going to more than usual even though I've been drinking this gallon water but like now I gotta go and it kind of hurts to hold it but I know if I go it's not gonna be a lot that comes out but I keep getting this nagging pain sometimes it feels like a big cramp going all across where my pubic bone is but then I mean, now it's like radiating out to my back, my lower back, the pain is. And then sometimes it feels like air is trapped right there. So, I don't think it's gas anymore. So, we are going to the emergency room so I can get evaluated and make sure everything is okay. I honestly believe the baby's okay. I still feel her moving. It is me. <laughs> I think I have a urinary tract infection. That's a possibility. So when I get there, we will see. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they let my husband in with me. Sure. This is my support person. Yep, he's been all looking back. fetal doppler done and baby's heart rate is 137 I'm trying to figure out why it dropped so much since the last ultrasound it was 165 at 13 weeks I wish I would have got the time when we first came in here I'm never doing this again. If I had to come in the ER, I'm gonna eat first or bring food with me. I'm so hangry right now. 